In today's video, we are gonna make a shrimp soup. So my shrimp is defrosting. I have my veggies cut up and ready to go. My hand is, I'm sorry, my hand is reaching over my pan because I'm checking the heat. It has been preheated and now we're gonna add some oil. I am gonna be using avocado oil for this recipe because I'm gonna use the last of it. Yay, nothing wasted. Because we preheated the pan, the oil is now ready. I'm gonna add my garlic and onion. We're gonna sear that in the pan. And as soon as that is nice and seared, There we are. We're gonna add our other vegetables. Next in the pot will be potatoes, celery, carrots, and zucchini. Yum! Looks ready to me. All right, while that is sizzling and cracking, we're gonna stir it and add in some salt. And I like to go ahead and use garlic salt. It just gives it that extra flavor I'm looking for. Make sure it's evenly coated in oil. Now, because I didn't decide to measure my pan out to all my vegetables, I'm gonna warm up another pan and trade them because there's just no way my jumbo shrimps are gonna fit in here. Plus, I'm gonna try to add stewed tomatoes. I'm, that's, that's gonna be something new, but I'm sure it's gonna work because it's delicious. Okay, off camera, I tended to my mistakes and heated up a new pan with a little bit more oil. I'm gonna give that one more quick stir just to make sure it's all evenly, sorry, make sure it's all evenly coated. And once it's completely coated, we're gonna go ahead and cover it up and wait about 10 minutes. Okay, now covered and keeping it on medium high. Okay, you're gonna let that sit for five minutes. Okay, after waiting five minutes, you're going to add your can of tomatoes or fresh tomatoes, but you're still going to need Hunt's tomato sauce. Okay, I added a can of tomato and I'm in the process of adding water. I added about six cups of water. I don't give you any ingredient quantities because it's all up to you. What you feel is going to taste best, what you feel is going to feed you or your family. This is a can of Hunt's tomato sauce. I had more than half left over from the previous dinner, last night's dinner. Um, so tomato sauce just makes this delicious, okay? Yay. Tomato sauce is the true star of this soup. I'm gonna give that a mix. After the five minutes, we added six cups of water a can of stewed tomatoes, the oregano and basil type, and more or less a cup of Hunt's tomato sauce. You should probably put the whole Hunt's tomato sauce. Now it's time for our spices. This right here, my friend, is the secret to all your ingredients. Caldo de pollo, nor, chicken flavor, green top. Okay, we're gonna add that heavily because yum and then we already added so much salt in the beginning we're if you have fresh cilantro oh my goodness by all it means please use that instead i unfortunately ran out but i always have backup dry cilantro let's all cross our fingers and hope it comes out just as good okay i went heavy on the cilantro because let's face it i use you know a whole handful of cilantro when it's fresh and this is my first time making it with dry cilantro but you know a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do okay i'm gonna cover it i still have it on medium high it hasn't changed and now we're gonna wait you know five to ten minutes keep checking it every five minutes because the time may vary just depending on how much you're making but Now's the time to clean up your mess or check your messages. Okay, so my pot is a little too big and it's taking more than five minutes. What we're really waiting for is for this to be at a boiling point and my potatoes to be soft enough 
to the point where I'm probably only going to need to cook it for another five minutes. So I had a little taste test and I'm going to use a little bit of onion powder. That's my preference. You don't need it. Like I never used to have it. I was kind of, I don't even know why I bought it, but we're going to do that. And the most important, the bay leaf. I totally forgot about bay leaves. Yum. Like that just, you have to have those in a soup. So I'm going to add those one more time. I'm going to give it a quick stir, cover it, and wait for the magic to happen. AK boiling and just about ready potatoes. How do you know if your potatoes are ready, you ask? Poke them with a fork. All right. Now that it is boiling, making some fun noises, trying to kick the top off. Let's find some potatoes. There's a potato. Sorry. But I know I said use a fork, but spoon, why not? Come on, work with me. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Okay. Time for our prawns. Prawns because they're jumbo shrimps. Um, they're on sale, so why not splurge a little? You could get any type, any size of fish that you want. Again, cooking is your preference. It's like an art. Not everybody's gonna be Da Vinci, and not everybody's gonna be Picasso. I am not a pro cook, as you can tell. I make many mistakes, but they're all fixable. And there's always next time. In life, there's always room for improvement. All right. So once again, we're going to cover this up. But this time, we are going to put it at a medium low and check on it once again every 5 to 10 minutes. But I'd say 10 minutes max would be your go-to. So with shrimp, I'd say definitely check it at the five minute mark because if you overcook shrimp, it'll become very chewy and you don't want chewy. Uh, that's all I can say about that. Now that my shrimp has been pinkened, that tells me everything is ready to serve and eat. Bon appetit. Yummy!